One of the exciting new features of the SuperSite 3.0 is the addition of virtual chat activities. In a virtual chat activity, the student does not need to have another person online with him or her at the same time communicating. Instead, the student can do this type of activity whenever it is convenient because the partner is virtual. So, in order to find these activities, the instructor will go to the content selector across the top and then select activities and simply browse the lesson and the strands for the activities that are called virtual chat. The virtual chat activity has a special icon to make it easier to locate. The icon has a picture of two people chatting and one person is shaded gray and the other is not. This is to distinguish it from the icon for the partner chat activities in which both people are shaded gray. For the virtual chat, it is not necessary to have a live partner for the activity Therefore, only one person is shaded. Once you assign such an activity, the student will be able to access it on his or her end and will be able to do the activity whenever it is convenient. So let's see how one of these works. I click on the activity to open it and my instructions appear across the top along with a number of attempts remaining, which is controlled by your preferences when you set up the course. These instructions are very important. Once I click on play, my virtual partner speaks. When he is done, the recording will begin for me. And when I press stop, he begins speaking again. So it's to simulate real life conversation in which there's not time between the speaker's statements. I've selected female so that my prompts will be appropriate. I'll click on the yellow play button to begin. Hola, me llamo Juan Pablo. ¿Cómo te llamas tú? Me llamo Stephanie Langston. Soy de Puerto Rico. ¿Y tú? Soy de Atlanta, Georgia, en los Estados Unidos. Now ask me questions based on the answers you see on the screen. ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien, gracias. Hasta pronto. And it's as simple as that. The student can then play the activity back to make sure that it sounds just as he or she would like for it to before submitting. Hola, me llamo Juan Pablo. ¿Cómo te llamas tú? Me llamo Stephanie Langston. Soy de Puerto Rico. And then the student can either save the work in order to continue it later, or the student can submit the activity in order for you to see it for grading.